know your rights when you're stopped by the police. Unfortunately, most people don't, and the consequences can be serious. From illegal searches to excessive force, anyone can be a victim. Filmmakers Steven Silverman and Scott Morgan are fighting to stop this. They've made a terrific movie called Ten Rules for Dealing with the Police. Here's a clip. Relax. God, I didn't do anything. You got a bad attitude. Now, I pulled you over because you were swerving between lanes. That's all. Now, you got a choice here. If you cooperate, you're going to make things a whole lot easier on yourself. Now, what that means is you got to be straight with me. You understand? Yeah. Here's the deal. You don't speak unless I ask a question. You understand? Yeah. All right. Oh, that hurts, man. That's too tight. Relax. You're fine. Now, where are you coming from? College. I'm coming home from college, man. You've been having problems with gangs moving guns down this highway. You're not packing any Tech Nines in there, are you? No. No, sir. So you don't mind if I take a look? Ah, uh, go ahead. All right, Darren, you just relax. Don't move. Just relax. Don't move. Stephen Scott, welcome to, to Freedom Watch. This is a, a, an important movie. We just showed a small dramatic clip. There's a lot of other things in there that show police abuse and show what the law is and what you have a right to do. Why did you make this movie? Well, the reason we made this movie is because we found that most people just really were completely terrified uh, during police encounters. And this manifests itself in, in one of two ways. Most people would completely roll over, would waive their rights at the point of a police encounter, but also some people out of their fear and frustration would wind up acting out right. uh, during a police encounter. So we really realized we needed to create something that went beyond the little, you know, the wallet cards that many people may have seen and really took this thing and made it more compelling and created scenarios that people can relate to when they see it. All right, and Scott, what you created was the 10 rules. We're going to throw them up on the board. Mm -hmm. Some are common sense. Some are things that people uh, basically need to be reminded of. Always be calm and cool. Obviously, that makes sense. You have a right to remain silent. Now, if mm -hmm. the police ask you for your driving credentials, you obviously have to give that to them. But right. if they say, where are you coming from and where are you going, you don't have to reply. What's the best way not to reply? Well, you know, that's up to you. And with those sort of where are you going kind of questions, that's really tricky to deal with because you don't want to seem evasive right at the beginning of the encounter. But I think the most important thing for folks to understand is once it gets to the point of, hey, can I look around in your car? What do you have in the trunk? That's the kind of stuff that you really have All right, to watch That's out for. one of the rules. That's rule number three. You have right. a right to refuse searches. Right. So when the police say, I see that bag on the front seat, I want to look in it. Or would you mind mm -hmm. popping the trunk for me? What's the appropriate response? Officer, calmly. Officer, I know you're just doing your job, but I don't consent to any searches. And you might have to repeat this, and the officer might reply with, well, you don't have any bombs or, or guns in the trunk. What do you have to hide? You don't mind if I take a look, do you? And they'll keep asking, but this is actually not a command. It sounds like a command, but it's actually technically a request, and you have every right to refuse that search. And we advise that you do it and say, calmly, officer, I have nothing to say until... And the police will, will famously say, as Steve just said, you have nothing to hide. What are you worried about? What's the response to that? I have my dignity. I have my privacy. And there's the law. Well, you can do that, right? And, you know, for us, you know, you don't want to get in an argument with the officer about it. But, you know, you can just calmly state your refusal. And if they keep challenging, you don't have to answer additional questions. Ha has the, has the movie had an effect? Is it getting out there? Are you getting feedback that Absolutely. people are doing, are, are standing on their rights? Right. When we first started this work back in 2002, the most common response was, after people watched our, you know, our, our first video, was, oh, man, I wish I had known this. Right. I really was humiliated and hassled. And, and if I'd only known my rights, it would have been a much better situation for me. And now we are getting, yes. I asserted my rights, and, and I simply drove away with a ticket. I'm going to tell you, I've seen the movie. I watched it. I loved it. It's right on the law, and everybody should see it. Steve Silverman, Scott Morgan, thanks for your